Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at some premium Bible journals and notebooks from Skyler and R.L. Allen. Okay, I've got a fun one for us today. Every now and then people ask me if I have any recommendations for journals or notebooks, often because they want to take notes while they're studying the Bible. And actually two of my favorite Bible publishers, R.L. Allen and Schuyler, make things like that. So Allen makes two of them. They have a journal, which is a slightly bigger one, and then they have a notebook, this small guy right here. These are really great. And then Schuyler makes a journal as well. And, and both of these companies are known for making really beautiful, high-quality Bibles, and, and that translates over into what they're making in the journal and notebook space. These are beautiful editions. I actually took one of R.L. Allen's journals with me when I studied at Oxford in England last year because I wanted to kind of keep track of the process in that journey and take some notes along the way and, and journal things as I went. And so I took one of those with me and I was really glad that I had that. And then earlier this year I picked up a copy of Schuyler's journal and was blown away by the quality of it as well. So if you're somebody who, who loves to journal, who loves to take notes while you're reading or studying the Bible, or just wants something to keep track of things around the house, you know, if, if you're just looking for a really nice quality journal or notebook, these are some awesome options. So I thought it would be fun to do a video where I show you the specs on these, give you a little bit of a side by side comparison so that you can check them out. So that's what this video is all about. Before we dive in, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. This is a closer look at the journals and notebooks from Skyler and R.L. Allen. Okay, here they are lined up next to one another. Schuyler on the far left. This is the Schuyler Journal. Allen Journal in the middle. And Allen Notebook on the right. So I'm going to start with the Schuyler. I'm going to show you each one and then I'll do a little bit of comparison. So this is a really nice goatskin cover. It's got a rounded spine. I like that. Single ribbon marker. It does have a perimeter stitch around the outside, which kind of matches the vibe of Schuyler Bibles. It's a paste down liner. Looks really good. It was printed and bound by Royal Youngblood. In the Netherlands. It has some uh, art gilding on the pages. This is a because I got the blue one, I think it's a little blue under gold, but you can see the lines paper in there. Looks really, really sharp. You're opening it up and you start out with a little contents page. So you can kind of type in where your page number is or write in where your page number is in the topic if you want to kind of create your own index. You have a couple pages to do that and then you get into the notebook paper itself. You'll notice that this one is numbered. So if I can get that to focus, there it says 43, kind of faint numbers in the bottom corner. So it does have 234 pages. Looks really sharp. It's got a creamy paper to it. It looks really nice. Um, and uh, it's six millimeters spaced between the lines. So it's plenty of room for you to write. If you have really big handwriting, you might need to take up a couple lines. Um, but it looks, it looks really sharp. It's going to hold up well. I haven't actually used this one yet, but it, I, I'm confident it's going to hold up well. It has a sewn binding. It looks good. It overall just really, really, really sharp. Now, moving over to Allen. Slightly smaller, as you can see, all the way around. So this one was, five, did I tell you the size? It's five and a half by eight and a half, and it's a half inch thick. So five and a half by eight and a half. The Allen is five and an eighth by eight. So almost a half inch shorter all the way around. And it's also about a half inch thick. Instead of 234 pages, it has 256 pages, but it does not have page numbers. And it also does not have that, that content index. It just goes straight into the notebook paper. You can see this is kind of a, a brighter white paper. The, the actual line spacing on here is five millimeters compared to six millimeters on the Skylar but it has the Highland goat skin that a lot of people love from Allen. It's got more of a squared off spine. It still has the single ribbon marker. It has the gold art gilding, red under gold on this one. It looks really sharp, paste down liner as well. Overall, very beautiful, very well made. It has a sewn binding. I did not write in this one, but I have written in this one. This is the one that I mentioned that I took with me to Oxford. and I. I, I want to show you what it looks like to write on here, but I, I wrote in this one, but I didn't want to show you my personal journal notes because it's personal. Um, but you can see this one. Look at this. I threw this around in my backpack for months when I was going back and forth to class to, at Oxford, and it's held up really well. It looks just like it did when I got it, and I've written all throughout the first half of this. So it's, it's really nice. It looks really great. As far as the paper goes, they're both 70 GSM paper. And that basically what that means is I was using just a normal 
a normal pen when I wrote my notes. And you can see a little bit through the pages, but not a lot. And if you use a, a finer pen, you're not going to worry about that at all. Last but not least is the Allen Notebook. So this little guy. So obviously much smaller. It's four and a eighth inches wide, five and three quarter inches wide, and it's only about three eighths of an inch thick as opposed to a half inch thick. But it looks a lot like this one with the, the squared off spine, the Highland goat skin, the single ribbon marker, the red under gold pages, very similar on the inside. Instead of having 256 pages, this has 192 pages. And the smaller size feels to me more like those little, you know, field notes, journals, and, and notebooks that people have that they carry around in their pocket. You can fit this in your pocket pretty easily, but it's got the same 70 GSM paper, the same overall look and feel, that same white paper with the five millimeter spacing on it. It's just a smaller notebook. So overall, that's the main thing. So you have, uh, let me just do a quick little side by side so you can see the paper. See how the Skylar is a little bit creamier and the Allen is white. And then you can tell that the let me see if I can hold these flat for you. The spacing of the lines is just one millimeter slightly tighter on the Allen. But the Skylar, you get page numbers. You get a few fewer pages. The Allen, you don't get page numbers. But overall, 70 GSM paper on all of these, they look great. They feel great. They're going to hold up well over time. Um, I, I think that they're all pretty great to recommend that you could get, get what you want out of any of these. $55 for the Skylar notebook. In goat skin, they do make a, a marbled mahogany calfskin edition that's $5 more. 40 pounds for the Allen Journal, which when you do this, it's going to be close to $55. It's pretty similar for these two. And this one's about $20 cheaper for the notebook. So you can order these directly from the publishers. I'll put links in the description. Um, but they're really great. They're well made. And if you're looking for a journal to take notes with as you read the Bible or just for your own daily journaling, these are, these are great options. So there you have it, a closer look at the journal from Skylar Bibles, as well as a journal and notebook from R.L. Allen. Now, which one of these? Let me, let, me, let me know in the comments. If you had to choose one, would you choose the full-size Skylar journal, the full-size Allen journal, which is slightly smaller, or the Allen notebook? Now that you've seen all the specs on these, if you had to pick one, which one would you choose and why? Leave me a comment and let me know. And if you do want to actually pick one of these up, I will put a link in the description to where you can purchase one of these from both of these publishers. I'll also put a link to BibleReviewBlog.com where I'll put a, a write-up of these and some great photos on the website. And definitely check us out on Instagram and Facebook as well. We've got a great community out there on social media. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.